What is up you guys, my name is Selena, and today's going to be a new tutorial showing you guys how to do the slap on sign effect. Um, I used this in my last Instagram edit, I'll leave it in the description if you want to check it out. And then some of you guys commented asking how I did it, so I'll just explain it right here. So let's start off with our clip, and I guess this could work for a lot of clips, but I think it looks cool on this one because it looks like I actually slapped on the Jesus save sign, but I actually didn't. So let's get started with the video. So I have my clip right here. We're only going to want this effect to last for a very short amount of time because you don't want people to tell that there's already the sign there. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate my clip and then we're going to shorten it so it's just in the beginning. And then with this duplicated clip, I'm going to go to the rotor brush tool and just rotor brush the sign out. And it doesn't have to be perfect because the effect won't last that long. And when you use the rotor brush tool, you're probably going to want the quality on full. Okay, so now I'll just rotor brush the sign out. Just press down and hover over the letters and if you want to change the brush size you can hold command and drag your mouse and if you want to delete some parts that you accidentally took you can hold alt and it will show up red. Okay once you're done you can see if I turn off the eye on my first if I turn off the eye on my bottom clip then you could see the sign but we're gonna turn that on. Okay now what we're gonna do is just keyframe the sign so it's scaled and is positioned in some random place so at the end of that top clip we're going to press the keyframe button for position then go back to the beginning of the clip and we're just going to adjust the position so it's kind of off of the sign and then we're also going to press s for scale so we could scale it up in the beginning and press the keyframe button and then go to the end of the clip and bring it back down to 100 Okay, that's going way too slow, so you can press U to bring up all the keyframes and then drag them closer together. Now I already had my, um, now I already had these three circles on the left checked on, but your clip probably didn't automatically check it off. So make sure you have the top video line with the circles on, and your bottom clip doesn't really matter if it's on or not. And then you're going to press the three circles at the top of the composition as well. So this is just going to add motion blur so it will create that cool blurry effect. Now if you watch it back, it sort of slaps on and it looks pretty cool but you might have to adjust the scale. And if you make the keyframes last for too long then it won't look cool. So it's good if you keep it at a short amount of time. So yeah, just play around with it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe for more videos. Check out my Instagram video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.